This video is supposed to show you how to fix a few issues in PTI GUI. I've been struggling with this for a few days, so I thought I'd share it with you. Um, I have a whole bunch of panels that I had to stitch, and I created a bed stitching project. And uh, there are about 91 of them, and most of them stitched uh, perfectly. And then some of them came out looking like this. Um, everything's the same. The patterns are the same, the interior is the same, except about 15 out of 91 came out looking like this. So I tried fixing it a whole bunch of ways, creating manual control points, and nothing was working. So finally, I decided to do something else to try it in a different way. I loaded one of these panels that was totally uh, messed up. And I'll show you what it looks like in a preview if I open it up to start with. Okay, so it's like this. It's just a mess. Okay, so what I've done is this. I went to Project Assistant. I enabled uh, the automatic user EXIF because in the template they say if you're doing uh, using template, you should disable it. So, okay, I enabled that. Went to project source, everything's fine. Came here, circle, fisheye, all that is good. Project settings, good. Crop, I adjusted my crop a little bit to include more of the image. Uh, nothing significant. Mask, okay. Image parameters, okay. Since it's HDR, I have 12 images grouped in four groups of three. I linked them up because it was shot in tripod. So only the first ones in each group uh, are controlled once. The rest of them are linked. Control points. Okay, so here we have a problem. The control point distance are just ridiculously large, and it cannot stitch it properly. So what I did is um, I came here and, uh, and I deleted all control points. And then I did, uh, I went from image to image. So since I have four images, I mean, uh, three images for each set. I took first uh, zero one is here and uh, the second one is three. Okay, so and then I went to con create control images just for this group and con create control images that are pretty decent and then I went and created the second group and I did the same thing. And then I did for the third group. Sometimes it doesn't want to do that, so you have to kind of a switch the group. Uh, so if you would go to, let's say, group zero, uh, I'm sorry, group uh, uh, zero here, and then group three here, it would also show you the, the same ones that you got when you were going here from 0 to 3. Uh, so then what I did was I went back and I said delete worst control points. And it told me it has 6 control points out of 44 that will be deleted. I said, OK, I can live without them problem. And it says it's good. OK, well, that's a lot better because it was very bad to begin with. Then I went through the optimizer. I did an advance and I made sure all these were checked except the last one because it cannot do these two together. So I ran optimizer and now it's very good, okay, because I enabled all that stuff. Okay, but still, when I go and do the preview, uh, it was kind of screwed up. Okay, so now what I had to do was go back to Project Assistant, do the panorama editor, and use this little tool here, which I had no clue what it did. I accidentally discovered it. And that actually fixed it. And now I went and did uh, Optimizer again. I don't think you have to do that, but I did it anyway. So it tells me it's very good still. And now when I go to preview, and I preview it, uh, 
it should be all fine. Yep, you see? Nice. And the final thing that I did, uh, I came here and I actually adjusted the size of my panels and then I saved the project. And then I stitched the panel and the result was good. So this time, uh, and I tried to do this a number of different ways, automatically, manually, this and that. It just it was a huge waste of time until I figured out this process. Now, if you have to do hundreds like this, that's really not efficient. But if you have to do a few to fix things, then of course it's going to be fine. And here it is, my panel fully stitched.